Leo, welcome to your in-depth reading for yours and theirs. What's up? What's going on? Just as a reminder for yours and theirs, yeah? Take a resonance, leave it as not, and reverse those energies as you see fit. More so with yours and theirs as energy exchange and interchange is real, rapid, and fluid. Having said that, to keep in mind, your person may not be a significant other spouse, boyfriend, girlfriend, lover, or ex-type situation. It's whomever's in the dynamic as I'm describing it. Having said that, it could be about a family member or friend. I don't know. It's up to you. Rule number one, take it resonates, leave it does not. There you go. What's going on? And do keep in mind, overall, yeah? Oh yeah, there's more. There's always more, yeah. These are general collective readings, not one-to-one -one private. Which is to say, they may not resonate at all. Frustrating, but normal. Check out the placements, you will find yourself in there somewhere. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, we must have those openings, honey. We must have the technicalities in place, lest we forget. Show me. Show me Leo and their person. Show me Leo and their person, please. Show me Leo and their person. Like always, we're going to start with your side of the board, but as I explain the intro, reverse the energies as you see fit. Six of Pentacles, scoot, the world, Seven of Pentacles, you seem to be concerned with your 3D at this time, hmm? we'll talk about it, Eight of Cups, mm. Eight of Swords, Two of Wands, a lot of blindness, a lot of confusion, okay, okay, Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, you really seem to want to get things back on track in your 3D. Mm -hmm. Queen of Cups, your heart space open at this time, possibly feeling intuitive, possibly just being in your feels, really trying to navigate your emotional sense of self, uh, particularly with mastering your emotions here, but still trying to operate from a place of an open heart. But you do seem to be heavily preoccupied with 3D matters coined specifically at this time. I have someone around you who doesn't seem to feel included or they don't seem to know what's going on or frankly they're just absent we're gonna have to we're gonna have to clarify that person um but your energy is really up front it's accounted for it's like this is the priority at this time you seem to be concerning yourself with contracts six of pentacles the world and the seven of pentacles so there's this idea of things are balancing but mm, some of them need to go now, whatever those Six of Pentacles are to you, these are day-to-day -day activities best broken down to in concepts, not just work, but anything that you agree to participate in because ideally you get something from it, okay? It should ideally, again, balance with you. We're saying we need to make some adjustments there with the world, some modifications. Not everything's worth keeping or balancing with. I agree. And the idea is kind of stick to what matters here with the seven of pentacles and see what happens from there because there is a very strong point of view that your foundation is the priority at this time and you need to show it patience and kind of constant attention okay not hyper attention but let's say constant attention okay uh but yeah what's up with with this how they're included i don't know we're going to start right there with your queen of cups let's see what your heart's doing feelings specifically Show me that Queen of Cups, please, for Leo. The Knights of Swords, the King of Swords, yeah, the Magician. Okay, okay. So while you feel a great many things, you're kind of saying, my feelings... You know what? They're going to kind of take a back seat right now. My mind here needs to rule. Okay. Knight of Swords, King of Swords. That is, of course, the King of Swords personal knight. And then the Magician. You're saying, whatever I'm doing from this point forward, it's decided and agreed upon that this is the best course of action. It's coming from a good place in you. Your heart's in the right space, literally. Your heart's in the right space. But you're saying, my mind's made a decision. I need to manifest the best possible decision-making and courses of action. Decision-making courses of action. And you mean it, okay? It comes from the heart, but your mind is dealing in the business right now, okay? You are like, uh, you know, <laughs> business is not going to take care of itself, right? It's not, you seem to be very focused. 
okay, very decided upon on your courses of action, and you're saying, I'm not deviating from this. Okay, so very focused for you today that I'm seeing for this Leo. Let's jump on over to that Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Six of Pentacles. Let's see those Six of Pentacles, please. I may not clarify all of these. Some will speak for themselves, yeah? Let's see. That Six of Pentacles. Seven of Wands, Page of Cups, the Four of Pentacles. There's something here you're kind of tired of holding on to, and it is coming up heavily as 3T. We're talking about work-life matters, contractual stuff. Again, day-to-day -day activities, priorities, the back and forth. It does not have to be just limited to work. Uh, but there is a strong sense of uh, there's something here we're holding on to out of habit. I recognize it. Seven of Wands. We've halted activity with a particular back and forth structure. It's either not prosperous, it's not working out, or it's taking too much. Okay. Four of Pentacles suggest you gave this a good shot. Whatever that Six of Pentacles is to you, you said you gave it a good shot, but you're not interested in giving it any more shots. It's not paying out, it's not productive, or even let's say it represents a person for whom you have a connection back and forth for one reason or another. You're saying it's just, it's not worth connecting to. There's not enough justification to keep it going. It's costing me time, energy, and effort, and I'm frankly, I'm just not interested anymore. You know, um, you recognize it as a non-functioning contract or it's just not worth the effort. You're not getting enough from it. That's all you're telling me, okay? But this seems to be coming up for you now. Again, your priority is really dead on bang, okay? Kind of head over heart decisions at this time but they still stem from a good place in you. So it's kind of like saying, this is rough, but it's what's best for me, and I understand that, I acknowledge it. So I'm going to put my hard hat on and concentrate and focus from this point forward. We are going to go ahead and do that world. I thought I was going to skip it, but I'm a little curious. Show me the world, please. Show me the world, show me the world, show me the world. They're like, whatever this is, is more fuss than it's worth. Um, and I think you've put it off as long as you could, but I also think you held on to it as long as you could. Perhaps you're in that tricky space of, I don't know what to do with this, so I don't want to connect to it too much, I don't want to give to it too much, but that also says it's not functioning or doesn't serve a purpose, right? Let's go ahead and see that world. Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. You're you're so focused on the the work, the work ratio of your energy is really high today, and that's perfectly fine. I like it when people show me things that this is my priority at this time. So while it makes it super concentrated, and yes, I disappoint the cross watchers. You know, this is life. Um, this is where it takes us sometimes. Okay, in terms of maintaining priorities, and that's just where you are. You know, it's unfortunate because whatever this is, if I, just to clarify, five of pentacles, eight of pentacles, the sun. Um, whatever this is, you're closing out. You said in theory it was supposed to work better than this, but it's not. In fact, if anything, it looks like it might be costing you money. That's no bueno. Okay. So whatever that is, time, energy, and effort, bare minimum, we're going to be breaking from this. And you can remember the promise attached to it, the sun. You used to be able to feel good about this. Not so much these days, and perhaps not for a long, long time. Like I said, I think you struggled with this. You wanted to stop giving to it, but you kind of put it aside. You recognized it as a non-fulfilling contract, role, occupation, something. Um, but you know, this thing, whatever this is, has finally kind of met its end, and I just wanted to verify what I was seeing here today. And when I see a happy element over all these, this has got to go, this is a broken thing, it tells me once upon a time you used to put a lot of faith or hope or stock in this, uh, specifically hope. Okay. And it maybe it used to do well by you. You know, maybe it used to give more. Maybe it had more promise. Maybe it had more growth attached to it, potential specifically. But those, those days are out of your sight, at least whatever this role is. Okay. Seven of Pentacles. Uh, there we're going to concentrate on the stuff that really is going to require our concentration and our efforts. In future, and it's it doesn't move very fast, and I don't 
think that's a problem for you. I think you just want, you know, your 3D reality, specifically what matters, to be on point. It's really not about the speed of the growth here. Just putting, again, your focus on what matters. Okay? So it can receive your full attention. All right? And that's another thing about pruning off things like this. They take away from us. And then we lose track of other things that might have more priority or essence or payout attached to it. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that Seven of Pentacles. It could just be you feeling a lot more steady. Okay. Yeah, but, you know, thank it for what it was, honey, and part ways with it peacefully. Um, I know you had frustration with it and not knowing what to do with it. It kind of just got relegated to the, I'll get to it later category and that's very common but uh, eventually you understand even holding on to that whatever it is even a little bit it just takes away from us okay Nine of Wands, Strength, Ace of Cups. Yeah, you, you're you having to be strong about this. And you're, you're saying this is what's in best interest for you, at least as you understand at this time. It's frustrating, but I see you working through it with your own particular strength or power card there. So that's good to see. Nine of Wands, there's going to be some resistance. Um, don't lose focus. Mm -hmm. Show this love. Show this pathway love. You know... There is other things that remain in your life that are functioning well. And uh, I see you putting a lot of strength and or focus into, again, what matters uh, specifically and feeling good about it too. Okay, so while there's some frustration there, and you might even receive some kickback from those uh, decisions, <laughs> it's okay. I want you to use that strength of will to your advantage and say, this is what matters. Okay? It's going to take some work. It's going to take some focus, but uh, you'll be feeling better. All right? about this situation and what it is we had to let go of, and that way we know what to focus on. There is a kind of begrudging element in there to the pride that I'm seeing, but also the kind of relinquishing of, you know what, this is what's best. And I, I, I see what you've done here. You've made strong assessments. You have to understand what's right for you, okay? So even if you get some, like say, inner heartburn for the things that you had to decide upon and act upon, okay, that happens. Okay, I'd rather you do what's right for you than not. Now let's jump on over to Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords. We kind of have an emotional absence. We have a, a mental absence here, but still some sense of possible communication, connectivity, or waiting. I don't know what's going on here. Um, let's take a look at this person. Actually, let's move this out of the way with yours and theirs. It never gets so messy as with yours and theirs reading. All right, let's go ahead and see that Eight of Cups, please. Some of the Eight of Cups. Let's see the Eight of Cups, please. The Hierophant, the Two of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. I got someone here who couldn't make up their mind about how to participate and what was best. You know, the hair front here is meant to sign off on something and we couldn't. We kept juggling at the two pinnacles, so somebody kind of shut down. I know that uh, I'm seeing someone here who didn't know how to participate in this decision process. It's kind of like saying, well, whatever it is you think is best. I, I don't really know. I don't know if they felt that they didn't have a dog in this fight or... But it's kind of like saying, I, I'm trying to figure out how to contribute to this and I can't. Um, I, I, I wish you well from a good space in my heart with the Ace of Cups. Um, but this is someone who is largely absent. But the theory of contribution from them was there. They couldn't, they couldn't commit going back and forth the Two of Pentacles. The contribution level or how to stick to the decision 
weigh in on this? I don't know, because they were so emotionally absent. It's like their Ace of Cups is going out externally towards you. It's like, I wish you the best. Myself, personally, I can't see how I can participate in this. Huh. Let's, let's see the Eight of Swords. This is interesting. Show me the Eight of Swords. Show me the Eight of Swords. It's... It's, it's almost like they're saying they don't want to be involved in the decision, but felt that they were supposed to contribute something, but ultimately didn't other than well wishes or a good feeling. Hmm. It's whatever you want to do. Um, I don't have much to say on the subject. It's kind of like that. Maybe they felt that it was you that had to do these things or that they didn't have much say. Let's take a look. Because there's... Emotional absence and, and mental confusion. Let's see the Eight of Swords, please. It's at the heart of the reading, too, so I'm very curious about that. Seven of Cups, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords, so much mental. It, it really is coming across as leave me out of it. Um, I. Their, their mind is a whirlwind of activities. Eight of Swords twice with the Nine of Swords. That's way too much mental activity. Um, and it's going to really cage somebody in up here and say, there's there's nothing I can see about this, never mind do. Because the sword is thought first, and then action, assuming we're decided. So I hear I have a whirlwind of mental activity internally for this person, a seven of cups, a lot of mixed emotions, and it, again, it's coming back to just leave me out of it. I, I wish I had something to contribute that I can stand behind with the Hierophant there, two of pentacles, but I just can't or don't or won't, but I extend my heart to you, that you make the best decision possible. It, it's, <laughs> I don't know who this is to you. I have no idea. There is so much conflict in this person. I can't separate their thoughts. Again, it's just because it, 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 for that reason, it's just like, I'm going to bow out. I'm going to dip out. Don't count on me. This is, this is not up to me. It's up to you. So it really is handing off all the decision-making there for the 3D energy and the actual activity around it towards yourself. They're relegating all responsibility at the, the mental level, the emotional level towards you. You do it with it. You can do it. Now, I'm not trying to be mean here. That's a lot of mental confusion or activity. I don't know what the role was supposed to be, but that's just it. They're saying, I don't want a role in this. So if that's true, then believe them, I suppose. It looks like you handled it fine, or you're going to handle it, or you're in the process of handling it, okay? Um, I, it's, it's really looking like they want to vacate any sort of sense of responsibility for the decisions here, and um, like, don't, don't sign me up. Don't, you know, they had some ideas, but none that they seem to lend to in reality other than the fact that extending their heart to you and wishing you well on this. Okay, so I, I don't know what's up with that. Um, I, I'm kind of, I'm mildly curious at this point. I want to see that two of wands because that is a bit more of a contradiction, but very small. Uh, is active decision-making, communication, looking out upon the world, trying to understand. So let's see that two of wands. I mean, somebody... Maybe they're right. Maybe this was something you had to do. Maybe this was your decision, because I see them, whoever this is, defaulting to you 100%. If that's what you want to do, okay. Um, there's frustration and fear and anxiety and mostly a big sense here of I want to be left alone. Don't include me. And I, I, it's it's weird. I, I don't tip. It's so, it's so, the signal's so heavy there, that dampness. It's a very damp signal. Let's see that two of wands. Show me that two of wands. Show me that two of wands, please. Six of cups, five of cups, the four of wands. Huh. There's a sadness in this person. It's, I'm finally seeing some emotionality. It's, it's mixed. It has been mixed. Um, I see them reflecting out upon a relationship. I'm assuming it's with you. I'm assuming. 
This is the first time I've seen some sort of softness that has nothing to do with the 3D and nothing to do with someone's ability or inability to contribute to the situation. It's, I'm finally seeing something along the lines of relationship energy. It's the first I've seen of it in terms of a definition. So that two of wands, no matter how small, is clarified by the six of cups, five of cups, and the four of wands. I just... If I'm being honest with you, I feel like their attention is somewhere else, emotionally speaking. It does not seem to be concerned with the 3D output that you have shown me up until this point, and it does not seem to concern itself with how it's kind of withdrawn from the activity that surrounds you. Their energy right towards the end seems to reflect upon something else. And it does look emotional in nature. Five and six of cups, those are both um, cards that are tied to the past. But it's in this person's future orientation. So it tells me emotionally they connect to something, possibly someone else. For ones that seems to be the preoccupation of their energy in concern or connection to some sort of relationship that looks like it's far away from them. Okay? Maybe this person's going through something, honey. That would be my first guess. This person's going through something, and um, they're not in a space where they can contribute decision-making or um, committing to actions, that kind of thing. They look like they're out there on the horizon reflecting upon something that considers itself a relationship with the Four of Wands, but it also speaks to the past. It doesn't look like it's presently engaged in. It's something that they're connected to in the heart. Uh, but it seems to preoccupy them a great deal. It takes them to a particular space that it's, it's just not where you're functioning right now. Okay. So, you know, maybe some stuff went down for that person, and that's why... We can't really see them engaging in the reality, making decisions. Their spirit and or emotional self seems to be preoccupied somewhere else. There's a longing here for a relationship I can't quite see. It is both sweet and nostalgic and painful at the same time. Perhaps it's a fresh separation from them. It's funny because I don't see it as being from you. Okay. Um... You're pretty much all business over here, and that's not an accusation. That's just where you are. And I believe this is someone whom you would confer with about the practicalities of life in some way. They seem to be under heavy contemplation outside of your two's construct. Perhaps they are indeed part of the Six of Pentacles. You're counting them out because you know that's not where they are. Make sense? This could be a business partner. This could be a family member or friend whom you relied upon to navigate the 3D. Okay, your foundation with, the work space with. I don't know. Um, that might be why, is, if they're part of this contract, I'm starting to suspect that it's because you're hoping things between you and that balance system would improve, but it's not. So I kind of see you officially letting them go in some way, perhaps. That would make sense because they're not contributing, okay? That, uh, that would make sense. It would. All right. That would make sense. It's kind of like saying, if you can get it together, I'd, I'd have reason to connect with you or keep you around or keep you in play. And, but your mind and your emotions are somewhere else. You know, you can't stay present, you can't stay focused, clearly. Hmm. All right. Let's see that Ten of Pentacles, please. I want to check out your foundation real quick. Because it's been your priority this whole time. Let's see that Ten of Pentacles.
the moon, the chariot, the four. Oh, yeah, hearkening back to that four of pentacles. Did you see that? The moon, the chariot, the four of pentacles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That contract here, that back and forth balance, I have to use that word a lot because people need to understand it goes just beyond work. It's the everyday balances or contracts we have with people and activities, etc. So four pentacles here twice, the chariot, the moon, honey. You know, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember I told you, like, I don't know what to do with this anymore. It's not functioning. I'm not getting enough from this balance, whatever it is. Yeah. You, you personally think that whatever this is has been holding you back from an ideal foundation, specifically stability. Um, you see the lack of contribution you have been for some time. Under your moon and your more secret, softer places, you've been wanting to move forward from this for a while. You're saying it's anti-stability, it's not up to snuff, it's not up to scratch, whatever this is. They're going through something, and I th that's why you refrained, haven't you? Because they're going through something. They're going through something, and they have been, but you haven't seen any improvement. So that's why it's been really hard for you to relinquish this. Is this an employee or someone whom, again, you build 3D energy with every day, but you haven't seen their efforts in some time? That's a way that's a beneficial to the core subject here. So it's no wonder you put your hard hat on, huh? Yeah, it's coming from the heart, though. So that still means you're doing what's best. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. You, you, you've been wanting to move forward from this for a long time. And you think holding on to this person, their energy, and their, their efforts, or rather lack thereof, have really prohibited your movements within your foundation. Sense of stability, connectivity, resourcefulness, um, how you essentially build your empire. Okay. You kind of chalk it up to this person. Okay, and their lack of contribution. They're going through something, and that's why you've kind of taken it to a personal space and you shoved it off. You know this is going to suck. I got it. I got it. I got it. It is going to suck. This is, this is great. You have, you're showing me a really strong example today of how yours and theirs can really go off the grid of just being a straight-up romantic situation or ex situation or haunting or lingering situation. It's... You, you really did a good job of showing me this today. So if you resonate with this, bravo. Um, this is the kind of diversity reads that I like to see with people who um, it means more than just the standard straightforward thing that most people assume to take it to instead of seeing how it can actually apply in other areas of their life. So this is, this is really good. This was a diverse read today. I appreciate this. So it's no wonder it's that sense of I got to put my hard head on. I've got to do the right thing. I know it's true. Um... You know, this is this is someone we've known a long time. They're a friend, or their colleague, something. But it's I gotta let them go. They're not doing their part. <sighs> no wonder you're showing me strength there towards the end. Okay, yeah, this person's clearly distracted from the contributive levels, etc. Um, uh, you've been waiting. So three of wands is going to speak for itself. You've been waiting to do this. I see that it's been under your moon. I think you put this off as long as you can or could until you you just you're not in a position to do that anymore. Okay. It makes sense. So we're going to go ahead and clarify that Knight of Pentacles. Like I said, in the Seven of Pentacles for you, getting yourself slowly back on track. Um, okay, I got it. See, they're both your power cards right there in the split, which I did see both on your downline as well. All right. Let's go ahead and see that Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, I don't, it doesn't look like a romantic relationship. The only one I saw is in their sense of contemplation, you know. Let's see that Knights of Pentacles, but you know what? Take it as it resonates, guy. Guys, excuse me. Take it as it resonates. Let's see that Knights of Pentacles. Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. There you are. Okay, very good. Um, in doing this, I know it took you a minute to get there. You will. Uh, you'll get back on track. You made the decision. Your decision-making two of wands is actually active compared to theirs, which is emotionally reflective about something else altogether. Okay. Um, again, it's not an insult, but they need to work through issues on their own time and kind of stop taking away from 
the matters at hand. Okay. Two of Wands, King of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Uh, you know, once you get back on track with you, I've seen it a couple of times. Okay. You're going to feel a lot better, a lot more practical. And frankly, your energy is going to lighten up with the Queen of Wands. Okay. You're going to feel a lot more comfortable. And not to mention practical, steady, and grounded. Okay. You're going to get back into a personal higher functioning state. In other words, you're going to know you've done the right thing. That's all any of us can do is you got to trust what's there. Okay. Um, typically, this is where I would pull out some of the romance cards, but we're going to go ahead and skip that. And we're going to go straight into some oracle cards for you. I just, yeah. We have some sort of contract here that represents the pentacle division. Mm -hmm. These things must be done, and they're never comfortable. Karmic lesson, self-love. Okay. You have a lesson here about knowing when to do the right thing, even if it's difficult. And typically, that's when we have the hardest lessons about doing the right thing. It's because it's hard, not because it's easy. If it was easy, there wouldn't be a lesson, right? So here we have some sort of karmic lesson. Let's call it contract. And this is an exercise in self-love, which I see for you over here in the Ace of Cups. And you also had the original origin here, the Queen of Cups. Even though the actions surrounding this particular construct are difficult, it's still an act in self-love. And if your priority is indeed your foundation and getting reacquainted with it, stable with it, and frankly moving it forward, and you can't be held back by this individual and their lack of contribution anymore, then you have your answer. It is an exercise in self-love, and I am sorry that they're in a difficult place, and by all rights you are too. But you're saying this cannot be the reason that I'm held back. Okay. Um, we get lessons in business, just like we do lessons in love, or whatever this is to you. Okay. Remember, you're awakening. Oh, look at this. For some of you, new love and time, if that's your aim, if that's your goal, further down the line. It'll be there or present itself in due course. I didn't see that here today. Okay. But yeah, you know out there in time. Vivid dreams. You had the epiphany not too long ago about what's up and what to do. Okay, so listen to that. We're going to go ahead and pull some charms and close it up. Okay, we have the two A's. Double A. Okay, A and A. Well, we also have the medallion of Aquarius, you might have some very strong Aquarius in your chart, which I could see right about here. Or for some of you, the connection could be Aquarius. We also have the Medallion of Cancer. Again, same applies. And then we have the Great White Shark. It is upright and active. Uh, we need to pursue this. Okay, it's about survival here. Great White Shark, also Scorpio energy. And then the Gecko, that's more like you, Aries, Leo, Sads. Yeah, and then the ability to move and adapt quickly, fastly, fastly fast in hot environments yeah all right um two a's that's why <laughs> that's that's it all right leo honey i hope this helped you put in the comments take care be well